Hey everyone, it's James with Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna see what type of foods I can make using this waffle maker. So we'll call it Will It Waffle. So here we go. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna cook all kinds of different foods and see how they fare. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this to four and turn this on, get it nice and hot. The first food we're gonna use is bacon. This is just strips of bacon here, and we'll see how it fares. So it's reached temperature, I'm just gonna open this up, take my bacon, and because my bacon's a little longer than that, I'm gonna kind of wrap it around. Ooh, hear that sizzle? Getting excited, this is gonna work. And, um, there we go. Close it. And turn it. Now we'll just wait until it cooks and see how it looks. Okay, it just beeped telling me it's ready, so we're gonna flip it over and see how it looks. Now, let's see. So it's sticking to the waffle maker, as you see, and it's not quite cooked to my liking. I like it a lot more done than that. So I'm gonna leave it in there. Let's flip it over and cook it some more. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so I left it in there a little bit more time. Let's flip it back and see how it looks. Okay, a little better. I lied, it's not better. All right, so I'm gonna pull it off now. Whether it's done or not, here it goes. It's either a fail or a success. Here we go, let's flip it over and look at it. And let's open it up. Still stuck to that side, but this time it is well done. Let's pull it off. Not coming off easy, but it is coming off. There we go. Now the other downside of this is, look at all that grease underneath there. And it's actually dripping all over. So I have bacon grease everywhere. Uh, I didn't spray this. Typically you would spray with some cooking spray, but usually if you're cooking with bacon, the grease is enough to keep it, you know, so you don't have to spray it. But in this case, I think I might have had to spray it. But anyway, let's review. So here is our bacon. It's cooked in some of the places well done, which is what I like. The other places, not so much, but it's all right. Not the preferred way of making bacon, but it's okay. Now let's clean it up and move on to food number two. But the next thing we're gonna do to see if we can use a waffle maker, will it waffle? We have chicken wings. I have both a flat and I have a drumstick. Now, I predict the flat will cook better than the drumstick, but we'll see. And let's get it up to temperature. So it's reached temperature. I'm gonna open this up, nice and hot. Put them in. I'm gonna put the flat in near the back. I did defrost these. These were in the freezer. Oh, look at that. And that one there. And I'm gonna squish it down a bit because you know they are quite thick. See if I can squish it down enough to turn it. I can't turn it. We're just gonna have to hold it down. And you can see how it's not closed down. Okay, for the reveal. <laughs> Again, it's stuck. The flat stuck, the drumstick did not. But let's pull it off there. go. That's what it looks like. Let's see what it tastes like. Before I taste them, I'm going to let them cool down a little bit. It's a bit hot right now, so let's give it a couple minutes. So I've let our chicken cool down a little bit after we cooked it in the waffle maker, and I'm going to try the flat and see how it tastes. It's good. I like the burnt parts of it, like um, from the waffle, the pattern of the waffle maker. 
It really makes it that burnt crispy stuff. And these are honey barbecue wings, so extra good. Kind of like these cooked in the waffle maker better than like cooked the regular way. So will it waffle? Yeah, sure. The drumstick, so you'll know, was cooked thoroughly as well. The next thing we're gonna try is an omelet. This is just a simple egg and cheese omelet. So I have two large eggs and a cup. I'm just gonna scramble them up, whisk it up. Let's open this up, spray it again. Take our eggs, pour in there. Next I have some shredded cheese. Just gonna take a good handful, put it in there, close this down and turn. All right, here we go. Should be done. Pretty much. Of course, even though we sprayed it, it's still sticking. All that cheese. Try to get it out of there. Oh, let's just. All right, so here is my omelet, my egg and cheese omelet. Now you'll see some black parts on there. That's because I didn't clean it in between my last thing that I made, uh, but it'll be good, I'm sure. Here we go just eggs and cheese. The eggs are cooked. So here we go. Nice. Has some burnt ends there, but um, if I clean my waffle maker in between, it would have helped on that. So will an omelet waffle? Yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna try to make cheese quesadillas. Just simply take, I'm taking two quesadillas. Let's open this up. There we go. I'm not spraying it, um, wish me luck, we'll see. I'm putting one quesadilla down, taking some cheese, a good amount of cheese, spread that out. Purposely staying away from the edge too much, don't wanna get too close to that. Take our other quesadilla, put it down there. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn this over because cheese is actually dripping out of this right now. Let's hope it's done. Um, it is quite messy. Here we go. Gotta turn the right way. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. This one looks pretty good. A bit messy and hot. But check that out. That's pretty good. So far, this is the best thing that we've tried to make in our waffle maker, besides waffles, of course. Look at this. The look of it's great. Every bit of it looks good. Has that burnt cheese around the edge. Oof. Cannot wait to bite into this. I'm going to try from the burnt edge because why not? Oh yeah. This is good. You can, of course, use just one tortilla and fold it over and do it that way. But I just tried it this way and it actually worked out kind of good. Now, a lot of that cheese did seep out. So that's why I tried to keep it away from the edge as much as possible. But will it waffle? Yeah, definitely. Cheese quesadilla. I actually did something like this before. A couple years ago, my friends, Arcade BC, we were at VidCon in a hotel room and we made a cheese quesadilla using an iron. Not a waffle iron, but an actual iron you use to do your clothes. Uh, I'll put a link to that up there. Go ahead and click on that video and watch it. Also put a link below too. You, you definitely don't want to miss that one. So next, we're going to try to make some dessert in our waffle maker. And to do that, I figured that apple will work great. Now, of course, I'm not going to put the apple in there just like this because it's quite big and there's no way that will close down if I do that. So I'm gonna slice it um, and I'm gonna try to slice it to thin slices. So I'm just gonna take a knife and cut this right next to the core. Cut that straight down like that. But I'm gonna slice this again and be very careful not to cut yourself. So think about this size, maybe even thinner. I'll do the other side and cut it thinner, we'll see. So this one I think will be great. Now that we have them cut, I am heating up my uh, waffle iron, but we need to prepare these a little bit more. And to do that, I'm just gonna take some brown sugar, 
sprinkle on them. There you go, that's all ready. I am gonna spray it first with some cooking spray. So just place our apple slices, I'll put one here. You can hear that sizzle. The other here. There we go. And good thing I'm using the thin slice ones, this thick one would not work. Um, we have to cut it really thin. I can probably cut that in half. All right, I think it's been there long enough. Let's flip this. Oh yeah, look at that. So these look pretty good. I'm actually just put it right on a plate. Okay, so these look amazing. That brown sugar is caramelized perfectly and uh, they're soft. And believe it or not, these are baked apples that we actually made with a waffle maker, not an oven. So I can't wait to bite into this and try this out. All right, so here you go. We're gonna try out one of our baked apples that we made with our waffle iron. Mm. Good dessert. Simple, easy, takes no time at all on a waffle iron. If you put that in the oven, it would take quite a while to make it. This way, I highly recommend using the waffle iron for this. Well, that's it guys. That is it for this episode of making different things using a waffle iron. It's a lot of fun doing this. And if you want to see me to continue to make different foods using the waffle iron, let me know down below. I'll get a whole bunch of new foods to make and uh, we'll see if it will waffle. So go ahead and then click the video right there and check that one out. And until then, I'll see you next time. What will it waffle? I'll start over. With a waffle maker, waffle maker, waffle iron, whatever. I can't talk. To this, um, you can use, like, you'll see. Start over. When you're, uh, have some shit, ah. Uh, so will an omelet.